<laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Charlotte to Go. Uh, last day of, Fe of February. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> where are, are you? Time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> last day of May, hey. right? Yeah, yes. tomorrow yeah. starts hurricane season, uh, right? Yeah, That's right. It's just over six months going until the end mm. of November. And um, usually this time of season, things aren't super crazy. But of course, uh, once we get to about August, oh, September, yeah. October, it's a different yeah. story. The peak. When does it end? Uh, officially November 30th. Okay. A long but time. Yeah. Yeah, you can it is. still have tropical storms and hurricanes January, February, March, April, May, and then December as well. And uh, Larry, you actually did a story on the facility where this Weather IQ takes place. There's a dying wind tunnel. Yeah. And I got up to uh, Category 1 hurricane. <laughs> Speed. Category two, actually. Well, and we're a weather team, yeah. so somebody had to go up. <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Uh, so we yeah. are uh, demonstrating the power of a hurricane yeah. in this week's Weather IQ. Roll tape. We're here at the Aerodyne Wind Tunnel, and what are we going to do? We're going to demonstrate the power of a hurricane's winds. We're going to go from Tropical Storm 1, 2, 3, and then max it out at a low end 4 at 130 miles per hour. All right, it's getting real. All right, let's experience a hurricane. This is the Aerodyne Wind Tunnel, 250 feet long, 2,500 horsepower. The main thing about this simulator, you don't have the rain, you don't have the debris. This is just showing the pure power of the winds. Okay, let's do this. This would be tropical storm strength. You can walk. Picture this as a strong thunderstorm pushing through the area. But once you get to 74 miles per hour, that's category one. Let's go category one. You can feel the difference. A category one is gonna rip off shingles, roof tiles. Let's go category two. A category two hurricane is wind at 96 to 110 miles per hour. I can't walk forward on my own. Debris can be thrown into windows. I can barely speak. It's an extremely dangerous situation to be outside. Let's go major. Wrap it up to category three. You can feel the difference. You can feel the difference. Who can be blown off? Let's go to the map. This would be category four. Both category four and five hurricanes produce catastrophic damage and can leave areas uninhabitable for weeks, even months. The power of wind increases exponentially. Just look what it does to my face as we increase the major hurricane status. <laughs> Cute, right? Something I truly never want to experience in real life, but thanks to Aerodyne for showing us the force of a hurricane. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy, WZC Charlotte. That is crazy. Uh, I didn't know your face could move like oh, that. Oh, no, absolutely. And you could feel it. And just the, even the fabric whipping against your arm, it's its incredible. And, and Larry, you went through this, is yeah. that every category you go up, it increases exponentially. It's amazing. Yeah. It's frightening, the sound. <laughs> it really is. I mean, the fact you went up to that uh, category four. And essentially, the engines are behind you, so it's sucking the air towards yeah. you. Mm. You're not facing the engines. That was the amazing thing about that in the wind tunnel. And we, we should say, this is the Aerodyne facility up in Mooresville. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. they, they usually use this for NASCAR and things like that. I went and did a story years ago for Olympic skiers who were testing yeah. out their yeah. equipment there. Mm -hmm. So it's used for all sorts of yeah, we, purposes. Yeah, I did a story on what they do, this yep. the NASCAR test. Yep. Uh, anything that has, you know, it's, aer it's aerodynamics yeah. in a car, yep. so that's what they're doing. And then people as well. Yeah. <laughs> I asked them, I was like, how often do people do this? It's like, well, we average about like one per year that wants to be strapped <laughs> up. But uh, coincidentally, Larry and I were both there the same week when we were shooting yeah. our stories. Yeah. And uh, so this, this is all the impact of just kind of showing the effects of winds on the human body and that. But, sure. uh, of course, we don't have, and I mentioned this in the story, you don't have the rain. You don't have the mm -hmm. debris coming to that. Even just blades of grass mm -hmm. coming at you in winds like that. That the sand, if you're near the beach, yeah. it, it adds so much more. We've all been in, in situations covering hurricanes, yep. and the way that the wind whips the sand in your face, I yeah. mean, it just like stings. Mm -hmm. It goes like it's going inside your face when it hits you. They we actually, just did that. Uh, sorry, that story on that cruise ship with how strong the yeah, winds yeah. were and the waves, and that wasn't even hurricane storm force winds. Yeah. Uh, just a minute ago, the Aerodyne people actually called. They said they want you to come back out, but they're going to throw debris. Too. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, now that won't be safe. And, and then you got to dodge it. Okay. <laughs> he could do it, though. I feel like if anyone could do it, Chris could. It was an, an experience. It's amazing because once I got up to 105, I went, I, I, yeah. I, 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 no, I, thank I know you. Chris is going to do this. I said, okay. Yeah. 
Good. Well, right. th thanks for letting me continue. Yeah, no, it, it's qu <laughs> quite the experience. It really does take your breath away. Yeah. And um, I, I can't even imagine going up to Category 5. If they had a chance to go up to 157 when you're calling it a Category 5, I don't think I could do it. I, I don't think the body could actually yeah, handle, handle it. it. And that's why people usually leave at that point. So uh, let's, let's talk about hurricane season because yeah. we're officially starting it tomorrow. Now, this looks like a convoluted graphic and it has a bunch of colored bars, but I'm showing you this because this hurricane name list is actually really infamous because 2017, you have names like Harvey, Maria, Irma that came from that. Mm -hmm. 2005, one of the most active seasons, Katrina was replaced oh. by Cadia. Dennis is another one that's on there. Rita, Wilma was the strongest ever barometric pressure recorded from a hurricane. So that's why I colored these bars to show you how many names have been replaced on this name list. Because blue ones have not been replaced. Yeah. They've been there. Yeah, yeah. so the uh, blues. Yeah. Yeah. Emily is one mm -hmm. name that's been a hurricane multiple times yes. but never been replaced. But there's a lot of new names here on this list from previous seasons. The last time we had this list was in 2017. So maybe your name is on there. I don't think we have any from the state on here, uh, but that's what we're expecting. And as for the National Hurricane Center, they officially released this last week what their prediction is. So what 40% means is a 40% chance for near average. It's all chances. It's all percentages. So pretty much what they're saying is this is going to be an average season. A typical hurricane season makes it to the letter N or 14 named storms. They're giving that range about 12 to 17 names, about five to nine hurricanes, one to four major storms. And we say this all the time. It only takes just one. Mm -hmm. Most of the season, last season, was pretty dormant. And then Fiona rolled in. And then, of course, you had Ian. We'll take a 1992. Took one. Andrew. That was it. That was the only the, one. The, yeah. the big one right there. As far as at the moment, we'll take a look and show you. In the Gulf of Mexico, there is a system down there with a lot of heavy rain. It has about a 20% chance of becoming something tropical over the next seven days. Tropical storm. Maybe tropical depression. Tropical storm. Hurricane. That is an area that really is an environment where you do see those develop this time of the year. Because that, that water temperature is above 80 degrees. It has to be 80 degrees or more from the, sur from the surface to a hundred feet down there. So that's the hottest water you'll find almost in the entire universe in the Gulf of Mexico. And that storm that Ben witnessed firsthand was as close as you can get to not being a named storm. So that should have been Arlene or a subtropical storm Arlene. It had the winds. It had the Ooh. central pressure. The only thing is it had a front that was still attached mm -hmm. to it. So uh, it, and that's one of the ones that the, the Hurricane Center m maybe come back later and was like, ooh, maybe that should have been a and tropical they've, storm. And they've done that. I yes. mean, post uh, tropical storm season gone back and said you know, it did have the components to be and they have a But when you just looked, yeah. I mean, I'm not a trade professional like you guys are, but when you just looked at it and you yeah. looked at the size of it, I mean, it covered yeah. the yeah. entire Carolinas. Yeah, it's it's probably the closest one I've ever seen. It was like, how is this not a subtropical yeah. storm oh. at least? So, so I survived somehow. <laughs> <Ben> survived. <laughs> somehow. And you didn't put your face in uh, And I did. And I didn't. I had to go through the 150-mile-an-hour winds either. Uh, right. One last thanks uh, to Aerodyne for both Larry yes, uh, yeah. visiting yeah. and Fantastic myself as well. There. Wonderful group. Really accommodating. And to put up it. with both of us. And Ben yeah. wants to go next. Yeah, I want right. to see Ben's yeah. face do that. Yeah, right. God All right. Gracious. I, I, I like the idea. Of have seen if, if Larry's hair could stand up to 150 miles an hour. Right it, would, it would still <laughs> be in place. Don't, don't, it may withstand it, but I ain't going to be the one standing yeah, 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 up. Maybe yeah, I'll yeah. just put in there, my right. hair in there. That's it was, right. His hair is real. It That's was right. still perfect at 100. So How about that? It's amazing. All right, folks, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning for another edition of Wake Up Charlotte to Go. Bye, everybody.